Hello children, today we are going to learn more about two digit subtraction. In the last video you have learned how do can you do a two digit subtraction. You can break that problem into the subtraction of a single digit by another single digit. Let's take some example. Say you have 10, 11, 12, 13, 13 sticks and from that you want to take away or remove 10, 11, 11 sticks. What do you do? You start from one's position and you from the three sticks you take away one stick. So I have removed that from the top and that whatever is the pending number of sticks I get it down. So it is two sticks are pending. Same thing you do here. You start from one's position 3 minus 1 is equal to 2 and then you move to the tens position. Now there is one bundle of stick and you want to take away one, one bundle from it so it is nothing left so it's zero bundle nothing is left here. Same way you do here you start go to the tens position after you are done from ones position and you do 1 minus 1 is equal to 0. So 13 minus 11 is equal to 0 2 or we write it as 13 minus 11 is equal to 0 2. So this is what we learnt in our last video. Let's take some more examples. Let's say you have 10, 20, 21 sticks and from that you want to take away that is minus sign 10, 11, 12, 13 sticks that is 1, 3. You write this like this. Now let's start doing the same way. You start from one's position. From one stick you want to take away three sticks. Mm -hmm. How is it possible from one stick you want to take away three sticks? You have lesser number of sticks and you want to take away more sticks. So how do you solve it? The one's position says to its neighbor tens position can you give me a bundle of yours? The neighbor 10 says, sure, I have two bundles, I can give you one of them. So you give one bundle to the ones position. Now the ones position have more number of sticks. It opens the bundle, so it becomes 10 sticks. So that bundle of 10, you make it loose sticks. So now the ones position have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11 sticks. From 11 sticks you can take away 3 sticks easily. I remove 3 from here and it now the rest of the sticks I get it down. And they are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 sticks left. And numerically on the left side you do exactly the same way. Start from 1's position you want to do 1 minus 3 now 1 minus 3 you cannot do. From 1 you can remove either 1 stick or you can remove 0 sticks. The lesser number or equal to number of sticks. You cannot take away more sticks. You don't have that many sticks, right? So what does the 1's position say? Hey neighbor 10, can you give me a bundle or 10 sticks? Neighbor 2 says, sure, I can give you. So the neighbor 10 is now saying, I'll give you 1 10 to you. So now you became 110 plus 1 which is 11. Now you can easily subtract 11 minus 3. But because the tens position is done given a 10 to its neighbor or lent a 10 to its neighbor, you strike that number off and it is now reduced by 1 because now 2 was there a 10 is, this, there were two 10s previously, a 10 is given to 1's position, so it's left with 1 10. Just the way when this bundle went from here to here, from the two bundles, it only became one bundle. And one bundle went there, it got opened and subtracted. So the 2 is strike off and you only left with 1 10. Now come back to the 1's position. After this borrow business is over, say now I am having 11 from minus 3 which you have learnt in the last video, the value is 8, right? Now you go back to the 
टेंस प्लेस कंटिन्यू द टेंस प्लेस वन बंडल लेफ्ट फ्रॉम दैट यू वॉन्ट टेक अवे वन बंडल इट्स लेफ्ट इज नथिंग सो जीरो बंडल्स यार न्यूमरिकली सेम थिंग डोंट लुक एट नाउ एट द टेंस प्लेस टू दैट इज यू हैव स्ट्रक ऑफ दैट थिंग बिकॉज वन टेन इज लेंट टू द वंस पोजिशन सो इट्स टू इज लेफ्ट with 1 if there was 5 it would have become 4 or if it this number was 3 it would have become 2 because a 10 is been given to its neighbor so you now you do 1 minus 1 is equal to 0 so finally 21 minus 13 is equal to 08 or here you can say 8 sticks 21 minus 13 is equal to 08 or 8 sounds confusing hmm let's try it maths is all about trying once you try more problems it becomes very easy and a lot more fun let's say you have 10 20 21 22 23 24 25 25 25 sticks and you want to take away 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 sticks from it So you want to take away sixteen sticks. Let's do the same way. Let's do first using sticks. You have five sticks at the ones position, the loose sticks, and you want to take away six. Five is lesser than six. How can you take away more sticks? So the ones position says to the tens position, "Can you give me a bundle of yours?" Right now, here this, in this example, you have two bundles. So he gives away one bundle. Now. Tens place is having one lesser bundle. But this bundle move from here to ones position. And you open that bundle. So now you have ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. From the fifteen sticks, I can take away six sticks because fifteen is more than six. So I remove six sticks from the fifteen. Those sticks, six sticks, goes away, and the rest of the sticks I move it down. So it becomes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine sticks are left here. Let's do on the left side same way numerically. You start from ones position. Five minus six. Five is lesser than six, so you need to do borrow over. Tell to your neighbor, hey, you have two. Can you give me a ten? He says, sure, I can give you ten. So the tens neighbors says. I will give you a ten. So a ten goes here. So now the ones position number became one five, or a ten and a five, which is fifteen, and fifteen is greater than six, right? So because of getting a ten, the five has now become fifteen. Hence, you can now do subtraction of fifteen minus six. But here, this neighbor at the tens place, the value was two. You strike it off. Because now he has lent one ten to this position, so the value will be two minus one, which will be one. So one minus one is what you are going to do in the next step. But let's first, after you have done this thing, first finish away the ones position subtraction. Otherwise, you will forget it. Because we started with ones position only. We started with five minus six. Because five was lesser than six, you did a borrow over, so you became fifteen. Before forgetting the next step, do a strike off, reduce this value by one, so it became one, and now continue on the ones operation. So now fifteen minus six is nine. Now continue your thing from ones position. Things is done. Now move to the tens position. One bundle left. Of this, you want to take away one bundle, so one minus one is. Zero, nothing there. Same way, one. You don't look at this number; it's struck off. So you just look at one minus one is equal to zero. Sounds simple now. So twenty-five minus sixteen is equal to nine or zero nine. Let's take one more example. You have ten, eleven, twelve, twelve sticks, and you want to take away four sticks. One, two, three, four. So you write four, but how do you do it? Here is two digits, is single digit. So if you don't have another digit at the position before it, you write zero, which means zero tens. Zero tens and four is same as four. 
now let's do it so it will become now a two digit subtracted by another two digit now the same problem will be that two is lesser than four from two sticks you want to take away or remove four sticks so how do you do it this the ones position tells to his neighbor 10 can you lend me a 10 says sure I have 10 sticks I can give you he gives 10 sticks now he's left with nothing because it was only one bundle now one bundle is given over so it's left with nothing it's equivalent to strike off with this thing you open that bundle so it become 10 11 12 from 12 I can easily take away 4 that uh, just the way we did it in the previous video so you just remove now 4 away and how do you do this thing now you remove those 4 away so you're left with whatever numbers you just put it there same thing you do numerically on the left side 2 minus 4 how do I do that go to the tens neighbor 2 says can you give me a 10 says sure I can give you a 10 gives his 10 so this becomes 12 at this position only at the ones position and because he has given a 10 strike this thing off and you write 1 minus a 1 which is given so it's left with 0 so now this is only left with 12 and now you can easily do this 12 minus 4 not which is 8 correct come to the tens position nothing left nothing left 0 minus 0 is 0 here also 0 minus 0 is equal to 0 so you could have done 12 minus 0 4 without borrow over just the way you learned in the last video but I wanted to show you that if you do 12 minus 0 4 just the way using the borrow over mechanism how to do it so the answer is same which is 8 so in this video we learned how to do borrow over if from the number from which we are doing subtraction is lesser than the number of items you want to remove like 2 minus 4 or 3 minus 5 so you do a borrow over from the neighbor reduce the value of that neighbor by 1 and then continue that's all for today children have fun enjoy maths to your fullest okay take care and bye bye